This morning, Prince William and Princess Kate are here in the States. This is their first visit to the U.S. in eight years. They're in Boston this week to present a major environmental award. This is also the couple's first trip here since the Queen's passing uh, some months ago. CBS's Michael George is in Boston with more on the royal visit, which will include a meetup with the commander in chief. It was a royal welcome for the Prince and Princess of Wales Wednesday on their first U.S. visit in eight years. Here to present the Earthshot Prize, which honors environmentalists. Earth! They kicked off the trip by helping turn Boston City Hall green. Catherine and I are absolutely delighted to be with you today for our first engagement in the great city of Boston. The couple also took in an NBA game courtside, watching the Boston Celtics beat the Miami Heat. Some locals spent much of the day just trying to catch a glimpse. Is it exciting to have the Royals here in Boston? Oh, it's very exciting, very exciting. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm hoping they come over and we can like say hi to them. The Prince and Princess decided to present the Earthshot Prize here in Boston partially because it was home to President John F. Kennedy. William has said Kennedy's famous moonshot speech was his inspiration for launching the award. Boston was also the obvious choice because your universities, research centers, and vibrant startup scene make you a global leader in science, innovation, and boundless ambition. This is also the couple's first trip to the U.S. since Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, gave up their royal duties and relocated to California. This is a really important few days for the Waleses to get their message over about what the royal family is for, what working members of the royal family are for, the good that they can do. The White House says President Biden plans to meet with the thank prince and thank princess thank in Boston tomorrow. So the details are still being worked out. Michael George, CBS News, Boston.